experimental based okay and uh, this one is a molecular t is theoretical based here one condition is that what is the condition means here in the elementary reaction order and molecularity both are same only okay so what i am telling that here in an elementary reaction i think so i didn't give this statement right now so what is the statement means here in elementary reaction in elementary reaction order order and order and molecularity or molecularity or same in elementary reaction order and molecularity are same so this is the one concept we have okay now for that one based on the chemical equation by seeing the chemical equation, which one we can identify, either order or molecularity. By seeing the chemical equation, which we can identify, either order or molecularity. Molecularity. Very good. So, by seeing the chemical equation, we can find out the molecularity. Is any possibility is that to find out the order? Is any possibility is there to find out the order by seeing the chemical equation? No, sir. No, ma, it's not possible to find out here. Okay, which one only we can find out means? So we can find out only molecularity. Okay, next. So the next concept, so we have some questions according to that one only it is actually a little bit theoretical, uh, theoretical basis. And I gave some questions which we discussed based on uh, molecularity, order, and average rate of reaction, instantaneous rate of reaction, and how to calculate the average rate of reactions and at all. Okay, so that's why I'm telling you better to practice once. Anyway, you they're conducting in your school some exams. I don't know how you're getting. So why I'm giving test and at all means now you're listening some classes. At least if you try, I think so hardly I'm giving some 10 questions. So 10 questions I'm giving. So why you can't try all? Just 10 to 15, 10 to 15 minutes hardly takes to complete the test. Because of I have to know what you are understanding and at all. Now. That's why I'm asking. Okay, Aditi, Sai, actually, everyone you're writing, you're taking Sunday test or not? Preetu. I didn't take the yesterday's test, so someone in the family was so much sick, so I was out. Okay, I'm giving from Saturday onwards time, Sunday up to evening 5 o'clock, you're having time. So, next time. I wrote the test. Okay, good, Aditi. How many marks you got, Aditi? Uh... I have to check just a minute. Okay. Out of 40, how many marks you got? What about Sai Akshit? Uh, I didn't write it, sir. I'll write it next week. Or is okay. it? So please, all of you next time just to try it. It is a self average. Out of 40. Out of 40, how many how many marks you got, Aditi? 35. Very good, Aditi. Very good, Aditi. Okay, it is a self-evaluated test. Every day we are attending some classes. At least we can. I am not giving 30 questions, 40 questions to spend more time also. Just I am giving us a 10 questions only. Hardly you are going to finish within a 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. So don't miss the test. Just you try the test also. Okay, so based on your marks, we can check it out. Your knowledge also. Okay, next. Here, some it is a calculation based chapter. Ma. Now we are going to start some important concept. So, what are the important concepts we are going to start? Means here integrated equations of zero order reaction, first order reaction, okay, and second order reaction. Okay, in this chapter, it is a one of the important concepts. So, because of what I told, 
chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics is nothing but here. It is branch which deals with the study of the reaction mechanism. Which deals here? It is the study of the reaction mechanism. Okay. Now, according to that one, how we can find out on it all means some reactions are there here. So, in that one, integrated equations. Okay. Now, we are going to discuss about here. Integrated equations. Integrated equations. Okay. So, board level also, it is very, very important. If you take the board level means here, board level also, it is important. Sir, so, first of all, what is mean by the integrated equation? I think so. You will get integrated and uh, differentiation. Differentiation integration you will get in mathematics. Except Ritu remaining everyone, they know support the integration and differentiation part. Okay. So remaining all are, it is easy to understand only. For Ritu only it is a little bit difficult. But Ritu, whatever it is there, just you listen and you can learn. Okay. I can't explain okay. completely. Because it is the mathematical terminology we are using in this one. Okay? Right. So next. Here, integrated equation of the zero order reaction. First, what we are taking means here, zero order reaction. I think so everyone you knows. What is meant by the order? Ritu or Sai, Akshit or what is meant by the order? What is meant by the order? Uh, is it the sum of the constitution terms of the reactant? Uh, it is the sum of the powers of molar concentration of the reactants is called as an order. So what is meant by the order means? It is sum of the powers of molar concentration of the reactants is called as an order. Sir, what is meant by the order of the reaction means? Order of the reaction is defined as the rate of reaction is the rate of reaction is directly proportional to Directly proportional to directly proportional to zero at power of zero at power of molar concentration of the reactant molar concentration of reactant molar concentration of reactant in a rate law or rate expression, in a rate law, in a rate law or rate equation, rate law or rate equation, rate law or rate equation is called, is called zero order reaction, it's called zero order reaction. Now you got the clarity, sir. How we can represent means here we can write as a rate is directly proportional to here. Before that, just I'll write a some chemical equation. Ma. So, what is the chemical equation means here? How we can represent the reactions generally? Reactants can be represented with the capital R only now. Okay, so reactants. Ma. Reactants. So reactants I'm representing with the capital R. Okay, and reactants are converted into the products. Products can be represented with capital P. Products can be represented with the capital P. So this is the chemical equation. Okay. So in a chemical equation, reactants we are writing as at left hand side. And products we are writing as at right hand side. Okay. Now according to that, can take it out here. So rate is according to the definition. What we are writing rate is directly proportional to zero at the power of molar concentration of the reactant is called as a zero order reaction. That is the expression, mathematical expression of the zero order. Okay. Now to simplify this equation, so directly proportional is there. To remove the directly proportional, we have to take some constant value only now. So to remove that one, rate is equal to k into r to the power of zero we are taking. Is it right? In the differential equation, in the differential equation, rate, how we are going to represent in a differential equation, in a differential equation, rate is equal to minus dr by dt. Ok. 
equation in a differential equation how we are going to represent the rate means here rate is equal to minus dr by dt sir why you wrote as a minus dr by dt only why not we wrote as a products means here rate of reaction you told that is a polar concentration of the reactants polar concentration of the reactants sorry i wrote as a reaction huh? no one they didn't tell anything This is directly proportional to molar concentration of the reactants in a rate law or rate equation. Okay. Now it is not the depends upon the products, it is depends upon the molar concentration of the reactant. That's why I wrote a sign. And that is also why we wrote as a negative sign. Negative sign is it represent as a disappearance of the concentration of the reactant. Okay, disappearance of the concentration of the reactant. Decreasing the concentration of the reactant is going to be explained. Now, in place of rate, what you can write? Minus dr by dt is equal to k into molar concentration of the R naught. Okay. Now, a power 0 value, R naught value. What is the R naught value? Ma? What is the R naught value? Any one of you? A power 0. What is the A power 0 value? Anything power Answer. 0 value we are taking as a 1. Anything power 0 value we are taking as a 1. So, according to that one, according to that one, in place of R0, we can write as a 1 only. Na? In place of R0, we can write as a 1. Okay, R to the power of 1. That means minus dr by, so dt is equal to k you get. Okay, from this equation, we can write one statement. From this equation also, we can write as a one statement. Sir, what is the statement we can write from this equation means minus dr by dt it represent as a rate. Okay. The rate in a zero order reaction, the rate of reaction is equal to constant. Either we can say or not. We can say or not. A is yes, sir. Constant. Okay. So, according to the, this equation, in a zero order reaction, rate is equal to rate is equal to constant. Why I am stressing this one means here, I had seen some questions. Even in derivation part, also in the middle of the derivation part, they are asking the question in a sentence formation. Okay. You may get that. Are sorry, he didn't tell. Na. How it becomes as a rate is equal to constant means here as per the formula. Minus dr by dt is equal to k. Minus dr by dt it represent as a rate. Rate is equal to rate constant. Where you will get as a rate is equal to rate constant means in a zero order reaction. Okay. Now if we simplify this one also. How we can write? So minus dr is equal to k into dt also we can write. When you send dt this side it becomes as a k dt. Okay. And you can change the sign also. This also we can write as a dr is equal to minus of k dt also we can write now. Okay. Now, both sides you can do the integration. Take the integration at both sides. Integration at both sides. For board exam, I think so it is a three marks question. Integration at both sides. So integration means integration symbol we are representing like this here. dr is equal to dr is equal to minus k integration of dt. Okay. After doing the integration, so differentiation of r we can write as a r we are writing is equal to minus k. So, differentiation of dt we can write as a t plus i. This one i is equal to constant. i is equal to integration constant we can call. What is the i means here? i is nothing but integration constant. Integration constant. Okay. i is equal to integration constant. Now, at initial time, Okay, at initial time. What is the concentration and time? At initial time. 
potential time. So concentrations we can take as concentration we can take as R naught. Okay. And time we can take as a T naught we are taking. Time T is equal to we are taking as a zero. Initial time we are taking as a zero. Initial concentration we are writing as a T naught. According to that one, if you substitute above this one, all these values in the above equation, in the equation one, in place of R, in place of R, what we can write as here, R naught we can write as here. R naught we can write. Because of R is represented as a concentration of the reactants. R naught is equal to minus K into T value. How much T value we have taken? Zero. That means K into zero plus I. If you simplify this one, is what you will get? R naught is equal to 0 plus I means I only you get. So this is a second equation. If we substitute the second equation in the first equation, second equation, that means I value. I value if you substitute in the first equation. Okay. Equation 2 substitute. Substitute equation. To substitute in equation one. Equation one. Now let us see this one. R is equal to minus kT plus in place of I we are writing as a R naught. Okay. After write after substituting this value. Just to take the, all the concentrations at one side and rate constant at one side. How we can write the formula? How we can change the formula? How we can change the formula? Okay. R here man. final concentration. In this one, R naught is nothing but initial concentration. R naught is nothing but initial concentration r is nothing but final concentration final concentration t is nothing but time okay now i'm i'm telling that to bring the concentration one time here okay r not minus r is equal to i'm bringing this r this side if you bring this side means plus r it becomes as a minus r only now that's why I wrote as R naught minus R is equal to, okay, KT if you bring this side, it becomes as a plus KT, okay, plus KT, plus KT means here, K we had to get, K is equal to R naught minus R divided by T, we can write so. So this is the equation of rate constant of the zero order reaction. This is the equation of rate constant of zero order reaction. Okay. Now, based on this one, let us see. So, this also we can represent graphically. This also can represent as a graph. Before explaining the graph, first we will discuss what are the units of the rate constant of the zero order reaction. Units. Any one of them. What are the units of the rate constant of the zero order reaction? Arithi is giving answer. Uh, mole liter inverse by second inverse. Mole liter inverse, liter inverse. second, second inverse. inverse. Very good. Okay. And here, how we can draw the graph for the zero order reaction? Now here only we are seeing. Sir, we are taking concentration on y axis. Okay, concentration R we had taken as a y-axis. Time we are taking as a taking on x-axis. This side time is going to be increases. Okay, starting you wrote some negative sign. What is that negative sign? What it represents as a negative sign? Negative sign is represented as a decreasing the concentration of the reactant or increasing of the concentration of the reactants. Decrease. Decreasing. Okay, if it is decreasing means graph we had to write downside otherwise increasing side 
Okay. So now if I write like this here, if I write like this means here, the given graph is represents uh, decreasing the concentration or not? Mm, yes, sir. Okay, from here to here. Okay, from here to here, concentration is going to be decreases. Okay, so this one it represents the decreasing of the concentration. So same of your writing means the given graph is look like so y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, and our formula, what we wrote as here, r is equal to minus kt plus i v root. Sir. I v root. In this one, concentration we wrote as a on y axis. That means y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, integrated constant. Intercept also we can take as a i. And slope, what is the slope we can take as here? Slope is equal to, what we can take the slope? Which one we can take as a slope? Minus k. So what is the slope we can take? Ma? Slope we can take as a minus k. Sir, why I am explaining the graph means here, in some times, examination they are giving as a graph. Which of the following graph is represented as a zero order reaction? But that one also you have to be clear. Which of the following graph is represented as a zero order reaction? So, how are you going to draw the graph means based on the y is equal to mx plus c formula. y is equal to mx plus c formula. By using the mx plus c formula, we are writing the equation. Got it? Until here, you understood? So, anyone you having doubt? Derivation part. Derivation part, still anyone you having doubt? Ma? If you don't have any doubts, then I'll go for the next concept. And then we'll, go to the, we'll discuss the examples also. What are the examples of the zero order reaction? In day level, sometimes they'll give the examples. By seeing the examples, you have to find out which one is the zero order reaction and first order reaction. Sir, what are the examples of the zero order reaction? Examples of zero order reaction. Examples of zero order. What is the example means? All photochemical reactions. Photochemical reactions are example of zero order reaction. Okay. What are the examples of the photochemical reactions, Pa? Examples of the photochemical reactions. What is meaning the photochemical reaction at least? Aditi, Ritu, Kyati. What is the example of the photochemical reaction? Decomposition of AgCl. Decomposition of? AgCl. AgCl. I think so. Decomposition of ah uh, AgCl. Next. I think so. It's not the decomposition, ma. AgCl. AgCl is the precipitate solid only. White precipitate it gives ma. Photochemical reactions. Photosynthesis reaction ma. Photosynthesis reaction. Photosynthesis reaction is the example of photochemical reaction or not? Huh? Photosynthesis. Ma, what is the photosynthesis? Ah, in yes, sir, it is a... ah, In presence of sunlight, plants are absorbing the carbon dioxide in chlorophyll. That it is converted into the carbohydrate. Okay. Sir, and chemical reaction, what are the chemical reactions? In 12th standard also you got, but this mechanism also it is there. Halo alkanes, halo aryans, chopper, it is there. There you are getting as a photochemical reaction. Halogenation reaction is the example of the photochemical reaction. Sir, what is meaning the halogenation? For that one, I'll give one example here. What is the example? Means one mole of the hydrogen gas reacts with one mole of the chlorine gas in presence of sunlight. It forms two moles of the HCl. This is the one photochemical reaction. 
Got it or not? Okay. Second example. What is the second example means here? Decomposition of ammonia. Decomposition of ammonia. Decomposition of ammonia in presence of catalyst. In presence of catalyst. That means catalytic decomposition reactions are example of the zero order reaction. Catalytic decomposition reactions are example of zero order reaction. So what is the example means? Two moles of the ammonia is there. If the two moles of the ammonia, okay, if two moles of ammonia is decomposes in presence of platinum at high temperature. So whenever it undergoes the decomposition reaction, it forms as a one mole of the nitrogen gas plus three moles of the hydrogen gas is going to be formed. One mole of the nitrogen gas and three moles of the hydrogen gas is going to be formed. Okay. And what is another reaction means here? Decomposition of the hydrogen iodide in presence of gold. In presence of the gold, hydrogen iodide is going to be decomposed in the formation of one mole of the hydrogen gas and one mole of the iodine gas. Catalytic, catalytic decomposition also we can consider as a zero order. Okay. Photochemical reactions are we can consider as a zero order reaction. Okay. Now you got the clarity all of you until here. For the clarity, everyone? Yes. So then we'll go for the half-life period. Half-life period of the zero-order reaction. So while coming tomorrow, yeah. all these formulas yeah. are very, very important. So I actually... So select... what is the of it? I will just move down those equations. Yeah, yeah. Just that. So I actually is discontinued. Based on examples, also they're asking the person. That's why I, I am giving the examples. Okay, they'll give some four, four reactions. In that point, you have to find out which one is the zero order reaction, which one is the first order reaction. Got the point or not? Yes, sir. Right. Next, half life period of the zero order reaction. Half life period of zero order reaction. So half life period. Oh, two, two. In this one second. Right one. So half life period of the zero order reaction. So what do you mean by the half-life half -life period, first of all? The time required to reduce final concentration to initial concentration. The time required. So what is mean the half-life period means? Half-life period is nothing but the time required. The time required to reduce to reduce the concentration of the reactant, the concentration of reactant, okay, half of the concentration of the reactant, my here, okay. So what is the definition means here? The time required to reduce half of the concentration of the reactant, half of the concentration to reduce half of the concentration of the reactant from its from its initial concentration from its initial 
concentration. Okay, from its initial concentration is called as a half-life period. Okay, so what is the half-life period of the zero order reaction? What is the rate constant for the zero order reaction? Rate constant for the zero order reaction K is equal to R minus R naught minus R divided by T. Okay, in this one. Okay, so according to the statement, so you are telling that time required. T we are taking as a T off. T off is nothing but the time required to reduce the half of the concentration of the reactant from its initial concentration. So that's why T can be represented with the T off. Okay. And initial concentration, ma. Initial concentration, how much we are taking? Initial we are taking as R naught only. And what is the final concentration? Final concentration, we have to reduce it as a T by 2, R naught by 2 value. It is reduced to or not by 2. Okay. It is reduced to or not by 2. Now, if we substitute all these values in the above equation, if we substitute all these values in the above equation here, so then K is equal to or not minus, in place of R, we can write as or not divided by 2, mm -hmm. divided by T of my here. If we simplify that, means how we can write as the equation? After simplifying the equation, how we can write it? K is equal to or not by 2K we will 2 T of will get us here. So we have to calculate the T of. It's not the rate constant. Okay. According to that one, T of is equal to or not divided by 2K. So this is the final equation. Okay, it is a half-life period of the zero-order reaction. It is half-life period of the zero-order reaction. Now, based on this one, ma, I have a one question here. Is half-life period is depends upon the initial concentration or not? Is half-life period is depends upon the initial concentration or not? It depends on the final concentration, ma, sir. Depends upon the final concentration. As per the formula, once you check it out, half-life period of the zero order reaction, you wrote what you wrote here? T of is equal to R naught only. Na? Oh, yes. Okay. If it is T of is equal to R naught, means either it is directly proportional or inversely proportional. Directly. Then rate constant. Inversely. Half life period is inversely proportional to the rate constant. Okay. So, based on this one, also we can explain the graph also. Na? Graphically, also we can explain now. Okay. Sir, how we can explain the zero order reaction graphically? So, how we can explain means just I am taking as a R naught value. Okay. On x axis. T of value we can take on the y axis. Now you are telling that here T of is depends upon the R naught. That means if the T of is increases, rate also concentration of the reactant also is going to be increases. So according to that one, if you draw the graph means, okay, it represents as a straight line which passes through the origin. Got it? Aditi, do you have any doubt until here? No, sir. So, anyone you having doubt here? Sir, so based okay. on this, tomorrow we are going to do some numericals. Okay, based on this one, tomorrow we are going to do some of the numericals. Okay. Now, and one more graph also it is there for the zero order reaction. So, what is the one more graph for the zero order reaction means here? Let us see. At one place, we wrote as a one statement. What is the relationship between the rate and time? 
रेट कांस्टेंट रेट कांस्टेंट एंड रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन the time is going to be increases rate constant and rate of reaction is anything change it is there so we wrote one statement here i think so somewhere where we wrote this one here uh, here only ma so rate rate is equal to rate constant if rate is equal to rate constant means for this one also we can draw as a one graph sir so what is the graph we can draw means here in this one rate we are taking on the y axis time we are taking on the x axis if the time is going to be increases is any change in there in rate of reaction ma if any change is there in rate of reaction any one of you as per this formula is any change is there no sir if it is no means we will get as a straight line na because mm, yes, the time is going to be increases means there is no change in the rate of reaction there is no change in the rate of reaction sir why that there is no change in the rate of reaction means here rate of reaction is equal to constant rate of reaction is equal to constant if it is become as a constant means you will get as a straight line only got it still anyone you having doubt so we got as a three form three uh, graphs here so why i am drawing all these graphs means sometime they are asking the graphs based on the graphs we are having the questions they'll give four graphs which of the following graph is represents the zero order reaction there is a one type of question so what is another question means which of the following graph is not represents the zero order reaction two different ways are there okay which of the following graph is not represents the zero order reaction or which of the following is represent as a zero order reaction what is the reaction relationship between the rate of reaction and rate constant in a zero order reaction that is the one question okay and another one is numerical based question example based questions they will give some examples which of the following equation is represent as a zero order reaction or which of the following is represent as a first order reaction this kind of questions also it is there and based on the half life period they'll give some value they'll ask so what is the half life period of the unsolved equation so this type of questions are there for you okay so while coming tomorrow just to revise all these concepts if you come means we'll do some numericals first like okay. time the first order reaction also after that we'll go for the so numericals or i'll complete the first numericals which are related to zero order reaction then i'll start with the first order reaction okay is that clear okay, everyone sir. then we'll continue in the next class okay and thank you all thank you sir thank you sir welcome ma uh,